Hi guys, Jillian Kaplan from JillianKaplan.com here. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite program from Beachbody, which are 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme. They're probably our most popular programs and a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about what they are and also importantly, what the difference is between the two of them. So um, the point of 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme is that it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. And so you do 21 days of workouts is the first habit you need to form. And they're 30 minutes a day, no more than 30 minutes a day, um, from the comfort of your home whenever you want to do them. They're a combination of cardio, weights, Pilates, and yoga. So there is something for everyone. Every day is different. You do not repeat a workout during the week. So it keeps you sort of excited to do the next workout because you don't have to do the same workout over and over and over again. Um, there is a modifier in both programs. So someone that's doing something that is a little bit easier in case you have an injury or you've just started working out or you know, you're coming back from time off, whatever it is, there is a modifier for you all the time in case you can't do the full move, which is awesome. Um, the difference in the workouts is that 21 Day Fix Extreme has more weights. So a lot of the cardio in 21 Day Fix is strictly cardio. There's not a lot of weights incorporated in it, but in Fix Extreme, they incorporate weights into the cardio portion. So like you'll do jumping jacks with weights, that sort of thing. Whereas in the regular fix, you don't have to do that. You do it without weights. So if you're just starting out, you definitely want to try normal 21 Day Fix. Now let's talk about the eating plan and how you form that habit. So the eating plan in both, in both programs is pretty similar. You get little containers, like little plastic Tupperware with lids, super easy, you can grab and go, and they're color coded. So green is veggies, purple is fruits, yellow is carbs, red is protein, blue is healthy fats, so things like cheese, avocado, hummus, um, and then you also get um, a container for like seeds and nuts and that's orange or salad dressing oils, that sort of thing. And those are grab and go too, which makes things really easy. You can fill the little orange container with dressing and put it in your salad and you're good to go. You can grab it with you and go for the day. The regular fix plan has built-in treats that aren't considered cheating. It's just part of the plan. So three times a week, you can exchange one of your containers and instead do something that is that you shouldn't have every day. I'll say it like that. So you can exchange for chocolate or chips or even wine three times a week, three glasses of wine a week built into your plan. Yes, please. And with Fix Extreme, they don't have those built-in treats. It's a little bit stricter. So if you've been doing the Fix for a while and you feel like you've plateaued, I would definitely kick it up a notch and do the Fix Extreme workouts and the Fix Extreme eating plan. Um, but if you are just starting out, I would definitely recommend the regular 21-day Fix. Fix Extreme also has an eating plan called Countdown to Competition um, because it's really, really good for people that are prepping for um, a fitness competition or it's really, really good for people that hit a plateau. And what it does is it sort of exchanges some of your carbs for more proteins, although you do get carbs every single day. It is not like carb depletion, but it's similar to carb cycling. So you can do that plan also on Fix Extreme and that comes with it sort of two options. You can do the regular plan without the treats, or um, the count out the competition plan, which is similar to carb cycling. So um, I'm gonna share my results with you guys at the end of this for Fix Extreme because I thought my results were amazing. I had very good re results with 21 Day Fix, but I had amazing results with 21 Day Fix Extreme. And if you have any questions about the difference between these or how the portion controlled eating plan works, certainly let me know. Um, I think that it's really, really important to understand that these are whole foods that you're eating. Um, it's not about process. It's not about low calorie. It's about eating whole foods in normal portions. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, and for those of you that use Shakeology or are interested in using Shakeology, Shakeology does actually fit on the plan. It is a red. So that's important to note too. It is part of the plan. Um, it is not required by any means, but it is incorporated in case you do want to use it. And in the performance line, so your recover, your recharge, your pre-workout are free. They don't count as containers because they're part of your um, workouts, if you will. And they're kind of essential to making sure that you recover and prepare for your workouts correctly. 
Um, if you, like I said, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And here are my fixed extreme results. Have a great day. Bye.